Greetings, gentle viewers. And howdy, howdy. I don't ever want to think about the death road of despair <laughs> ever again. <laughs> but you know, as I've played it, because of course I, I want to actually beat it, you know, I have pride as a gamer. As I've played it, I, I realized something kind of frightening, really. Yeah? I think I kind of like it. David, no! I think it's actually kind of fun. No, David, that's Stockholm Syndrome speaking. Maybe it is, but it's still kind of fun. I even think that maybe, for a given definition of the word, it's kind of fair. Okay, well, the death road of despair has clearly broken Damon as a human being, so we're just going to move along while I try and detox him. I'm having fun with the fun game! Somebody please help me! There can be only one method of help for you now, Damon. Stab. Oh, sweet release. Everyone, be careful! Who's here? Hup. See, we made a mistakey wakey. Well, sort of. I figured I have to explain this part. As I was playing and recording each run, Billy came back from work. So I paused the game and I started talking. But it takes a lot of space to record these things. So I stopped recording and talked to Billy. When I started recording again, it just took everything a couple of seconds to fix itself. So there's like a black screen. Poor Miu dies off screen. And wouldn't you know it? It's the one he wins.
Some of it. I got things to do, man. It took me a couple hours a day for a couple of days. But I did it. Now I'm gonna see what we get. We finally made it. After what felt like an incredibly long passage of time of constantly dying over and over, and I was the first one to die every time. Oh, no, no, no. You might think that I got off lucky, but I was the first one to die so that my friends could then die and turn after me. To that first bomb, over and over. What must it be like, I wonder, to fall off a pit, to drown, to die to something that isn't that first frickin' bomb, over and over and over? You know, Billy, I have come around to your way of thinking that that Kaede isn't going to make it past the first <laughs> chapter. I had said I thought she might make it to three, but no, no. After her dying first to that bomb, no matter what. Because every, you have to do that. You have to do it. There's no other way to do it. <laughs> well, there is, but it's dumb and you shouldn't do that. Yeah, yeah. It felt like this incredibly long tunnel would go on forever. But we made it. And waiting for us at the end was... Us? Oh. What? Huh. Is this the exit? So at the end of the tunnel, guarded by some kind of hexagon <laughs> beehive electric barrier, is some kind of blast doors with an X on them. Yes, that does appear to be the case. Die, bear! I can't believe you guys actually wasted all that time and beat that escape game on the hardest difficulty! <laughs> you sorry bear. I'm not sorry. Do you think that miserable <laughs> mini game is gonna get in my way? I've been playing games for like 34 <laughs> years. All right? You can't stop me. <laughs> so frustrating. But according to the script, I must Celebrating. Roll up your tongue when you talk like that. <laughs> Let me hear your joyful voices! <laughs> Congratulations! The exit's this way. Huh? Really? The outside world is just beyond this door? <laughs> <laughs> yep. Monophony said so, didn't she? There is indeed an exit. So there's actually an exit, and we can get through it by going through the death road of despair. Well, to be fair, that force field still seems like it's up. And on the other side, the outside world that you guys have been so desperate to see... 
Mm. We, we finally did it! We can get out! For the rest of her life, <laughs> every time that Kaede saw a coin, part of her died inside. <laughs> We worked together as ultimate students and finally made it out! Your part in all of this, Kaede, was to die to, like, the first bomb. To turn around <laughs> and make sure that you could open a path for your friends. But that's not the end for us, is it? After we get out, we're all going to stay friends, yeah? But you didn't get to know each other. You never became friends. I died for everyone multiple times. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> we'll be your friends forever and ever. Beyond this world, there has to be something that's even more amazing, right? If I think of it like that, the voices go away. And this is just a new beginning. All right. Hurry up and open the door. Go ahead. <laughs> Welcome back. Welcome back. I don't... What? Woo! Ah, so it's a nuclear reactor. And the world has been destroyed. <laughs> on the moon. On the moon. That's... Uh-oh. What? What is this? <laughs> what do you think of the outside world? I don't know! We don't have any clues! Because... This is... the outside world? Are you sure it's not the moon? <laughs> and another thing... What's with that face? This is the ending you guys were hoping for! Now then! Congratulations on graduating! Please take flight and re-enter society? <laughs> huh. No way. Darn, I was hoping we'd get a clue. Oh, you teases! Well, if we are on the moon, then that would kind of make sense, huh? Huh? You have to take flight to get back to Earth, yeah? Yeah? Could be. Sure, okay. Could be we're on the moon, I don't know. A hundred coins and a theme. That's it? It was worth it. For some reason, I feel like I've just wasted hours of my life. Uh, what? Now this is what happened to me about, I don't know, 1,400 times, <laughs> but those dots from Kaede come up, and I go, reload the game! <laughs> Please kill me. As I slowly opened my eyes, it dawned on me that I had somehow lost consciousness and been trapped in an endless nightmare. All the bombs. It was all the bombs. Right up the butt. But I... first, every time. What? Why did you do that? What? What? I had to turn around every time. I kept taking bombs to the butt. No, you didn't. It was the back of your head. No, the bombs were at waist level. What are we talking about? <laughs> oh my God, you freaking pervert. I'm the fine arts guy. <sighs> I, I don't know how I feel about this. On the one hand, I'm happy that there was actually like a cute little bonus secret ending. Uh-huh. But there was actually the exit over there. Uh-huh. So how, how, I don't know how seriously to take everything. No, well, whatever, whatever. Well, this is Danganronpa, and that's kind of a problem with it, frankly. I do think that is one of its biggest weaknesses, is, is it's extremely inconsistent about what it asks you to take seriously and what it doesn't. I have no problem taking seriously whatever I'm asked to take seriously and to hand wave away whatever concerns need to be hand waved away. But I do want you, like the game or like a show or movie or whatever, I do want you to tell me that. Yeah. I want you to tell me what to take seriously and what not to take seriously. The problem with Danganronpa is like one time, like the, the, the object falling on the head will be like a bonk and it'll be comical and the next time it'll be a murder weapon. Yeah, yeah. And so we don't know how, it's, how to 
take it. It's just, it's just not consistent at that. And that is a frustration of mine. Are you feeling all right? You're awake. Are you all right? You look like you've seen many ghosts. Many ghosts! I'm fine, but what about everyone else? I looked around and saw the others sitting on the ground. <clears throat> everyone sat in stunned silence. A sobering sadness filled the air. <sighs> hey! I don't want to hear your gloating, Bear. We didn't even see this scene until I'd already cleared your stupid game once. Jeez, this is quite the pity party you sad sacks are throwing for yourself. Yeah, I get it. The game wouldn't even happen if I just took the we cleared the death route, the death road route, rat. I'll shut up, bye. <laughs> huh? Monokuma! Rise and shine, or sign. Ajay. You know I say that. Actually, I like these guys. I do too. Aww. Wow, you all look exhausted. Poor things. I feel sorry for you. Aww. Sheesh, this place is filthy. It's murder on my cashmere skin. <laughs> I'm so soft and so sensitive and delicate like a little flower. Hey! I bet Monodum is feeling lucky right now. His body's already a cheap piece of junk. Kodos is all tame. Hey, why don't you respond to him, Monodum? And liven things up a little, you know? <laughs> so you guys crawled out of your holes. I guess you finally noticed what we were up to. Huh? Noticed? I've known for a while that you guys would botch whatever escape plan you had. Huh? What? What do you mean, botch an escape plan? That's a ridiculous, ragey, trolly game. That's not a plan. Um, y yeah, I also kind of pretty much knew too. <laughs> oh, my skin. <laughs> what are you saying? That's a lie. Ben? I'm the only sensible one of all of you guys, <laughs> including those ultimates. I hate my life so much. <laughs> if you knew that all along, then this was just a trap. You're the worst of the worst. Then so there was no exit. You tricked us. Don't worry. No, there is an exit. There is. If you clear the last platforming bit and open the gate, <laughs> it leads to the exit. I think you guys will manage to reach it if you put in about 57 <laughs> hours and all work together and have perfect execution on extremely slippery controls. <laughs> slippery like my smooth, smooth cashmere skin. <laughs> ah, very wonderful. <laughs> I'll stop. How oh, nice. Yeah, there's nothing you 16 ultimates can't accomplish if you work together. Start by murdering Kaede on the bomb every <laughs> single time. <laughs> and if you mess up the jumping sequence parapets with the bombs and the coins, well, okay, you're just done. You have to start over. But anywhere else you can mess up and it's still fine. You can come back from it. You only need four people at the end to have a chance to succeed. <laughs> Okay, that's pretty reasonable for people, though it's probably gonna drop three of them in a hole when you die in the gate. All but... right, enough out of you, it's my line. Do you understand what I've been doing? <laughs> and if at first you don't succeed, die, die again. <laughs> Shing. I liked mine better. <laughs> Try as many times as you want until you accept reality. <laughs> I did, you bastard. <laughs> so long, farewell! Get out of here! <sighs> so we can't escape if we work hard enough? I'm doomed. <laughs> Fucking moron! No way, you little moron! They'd be freaking out if we could actually reach it! They, he did. 
Uh, yeah, they were freaking out. Furthermore, I don't think anyone here realistically expects everyone here to be capable of working together, especially with someone like you in the team. Well, there is that, but it, it takes a lot of work. You don't do it just out of nowhere by accident. At the very least, they all have to like consciously really decide to work together, mm -hmm. which to be fair- They kind of have been so far. They've done that better than the other people have. That's true. Who just like took everything for granted and were like naively ignoring the problem and pretending it didn't exist. You'll never overcome something difficult if you pretend there's nothing to overcome in the first place. Right? Jeez. That's probably why they let us try. They wanted us to try the underground passage so we'd learn that escape is impossible. You got me. Instead of blocking off every exit completely, they leave that little bit of hope. They want us to be desperate to go home, corner us mentally. Actually, that's just rotten. You might be right, but... Yeah, but we can't just give up! She's right, of course, but... Well, like Nantaro said before, she is making herself a target, though I think she's absolutely right. It's just like the ultimate imposter in the last game. He was able to hold everything together so well. So and, he had to go first. And completely denied the the premise of the entire thing. Uh, like, I reject you, which, mm -hmm. is, which is right. Yes, and he was very like aggressive in maintaining that, and it worked. Everyone was working together, except for you-know-who. Yeah, no, it was really Tenu Tenu that was the problem. Nagito, that wouldn't have amounted to anything. Well, yeah, but if he had, Nagito hadn't done what he'd done, Terra Terra wouldn't have done what he'd done. Uh, fair enough. We don't yeah, need yeah, to go yeah. into it. But it's like, it, it mostly worked. And the problem was, is that the longer he would have been there, the better it would have gotten, which is why he had to go. Yeah. Right, you guys? I mean, we've only failed once. Once? You know? Only once. <laughs> it's true. About 1,500 tries, and you can probably make it through there. We can't give up this early, right? I didn't! Okay. I'll stop. But isn't getting out of here impossible? That's not true. No, it's not. It may take one more try, or a lot more tries, but it's not impossible. If anything, my horrendous nightmare hallucination taught me that. The <laughs> odds are never zero. They might be awfully close to zero, <laughs> but they aren't zero. Forget about Monokuma. It doesn't matter what he says to us. I'll get us out of here. I don't want to lose to him, and I don't want any of you to lose either. I refuse to lose to someone who would do these terrible things to us. She's looking better and better, and this is bad. <laughs> Warning, death flags are appearing. No, this is awful. No! This is absolutely what ought to happen to prevent it from being such a mess. You're right. Kaede. Mm-hmm. So let's all work hard to escape this place together. And once we get out of here and make it to the outside world... Right? Why don't we all stay friends? Um... F friends? Go to like friends! For breakfast! <laughs> yeah. Yeah, after going through an experience like this, over and over... Okay, that's enough, Billy! I I'm the one who did it over and over. It's called character acting. I think we'd all be the best of friends. Right? I mean, it's not every day you get to meet other ultimates. So what do you say? <laughs> that might not be <laughs> bad. Yeah. Yeah, that's a great idea. You want to know what it is going to be bad for Bioma? As soon as his little, I don't even know what you call that, nicotine stick <laughs> thing, like, runs out of juice. Oh, God. Then. Then we've all the more reason to escape this place, no matter what. <laughs> my body is ready. You can tell by how out of control my piss sweat is. Ew, I say, except we are recording this in the hot, hot Oklahoma summer where it's 104 degrees outside and we have all fans off and the air conditioner off because otherwise it's too much noise. So, you know. Damon, there's no need to add to it. I'm just saying, pit sweat. Uh-huh, it's there. <laughs> it's there. I'm glad. Everyone. Even me and my pit sweat. <laughs> 
But... Isn't it premature to say what we'll do after we escape? Assumptions are all but useless. Whoa! Jeez, you're clueless! Why am I not surprised that a robot can't read the air? God, you're so robotist. <laughs> the only times that Kokichi ever even has a line is to take a dump on Kibo. I he, clearly he's your natural enemy. Shut up, bigot. <laughs> That's robophobic. Robots can read the air. Thanks to innovations in pollutant detected technology, I Let's said go. that word's wrong. <laughs> Anyway, it doesn't matter if Monokuma says it's impossible. We'll show him what we can do. That's right. Yeah, you're right. You're right. It seems like a pain, but I guess I'll try. Why is it that none of the characters that I've been assigned ever have anything to say? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, let's work together. I hate robots. <laughs> we messed up last time, but I'm sure it'll go well this time. We'll get through... Eventually. <laughs> Eventually. Oh. It's kind of fun when you think about it. No, David, no! You just put some music on while you're playing, and that helps the reloads go by faster. <laughs> I mean, as long as you don't die on the parapets, then you have to commit suicide. Any other time is fine. <laughs> uh, It'll be okay. I'm sure we'll be fine. A divine wind will blow through and lift us to victory. Wonderful. Ah, oh, humanity is truly wonderful. The way you all confront adversity is beautiful. Ah, oh, grope, 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 Please self, stop. grope, self, self, grope, 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 pit sweat, grope, <laughs> self. With our bond stronger than ever. No, 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 that's because the sweat is sticky. We stepped into the tunnel once more. And found a door at the force field. Yet. Sweet! No! Good job! Follow me! Why? Leave it to me! Lose here. Alright! I still mess these basic jumps up from time to time. Bayonara! Bayonara! How many people are gonna make it this time? Uh, no, I'm, this is where Gonta always dies, so... I'm not gonna make it past the parapet, I know. I mess up here surprisingly often, too. I've nearly cleared it. Even on those early mistakes, though. Let's do it. Ooh, that was close. Oh, this is actually working out pretty well. No, no, stay back, Sumugi. Ah! To do my best. Yes, I'm the best. <laughs> I've cleared this. Ah! 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 All right. Ah! 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 Moment of truth. When I've been practicing, I'm real good at it. Yoo-hoo! All right. Man, if you can keep this going. Yeah, I'll probably make it to the end. I doubt I'll clear it, but... That was close. Now, I, I usually don't... I, I hate these stupid bombs up ahead. Yeah. I, I never get this jump right. I mean, sometimes I do, actually. I, I mean, I have cleared it. <laughs> ah, 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 Whoa, dang. Oh, so freaking close. Well, that's it. If I, didn't, if I didn't get that, then everybody will probably be caught on the cages. Yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> Don't appear, 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 don't appear. I told you not to appear! I told you not to do it! Well, that's it. But at least I did make it to the end. That's true. You know, for what it's worth. 
Oh, let's see if I can make it to the gate. So ah, darn it! This is the end. Okay, so full disclosure, I have been recording my practices because you never know when you're gonna clear it. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Okay, and so I just saved the game when I cleared it. Yeah. And that was a couple of days ago. Yeah. Uh, uh, why did you make me relive that hell? So you could die to the same bomb, as <laughs> usual. <laughs> Actually, I don't even remember, since it was a few days ago, didn't I clear it with Korekio? I don't, I think it was Korekio and Kibo were the last two. I think so, yeah. Well, I almost, I mean, I got to the very end with Korekio. Oh. I, I wouldn't have cleared it, not with one person, but that's weird. Man, I might have been able to make it, too, if they just wouldn't have appeared in the cages. When I finally woke up, searing pain coursed throughout my entire body. I'm really way too into Death Road to Despair now. You have to be to clear it! I, I see. I lost consciousness again. Again. Why? What the? And I was looking forward to a happy ending. You know, I don't want a psycho woman with hair like that doing the same kind of expressions that Junko did. She's got the mushroom thing going on. Yeah, I know. You see why I wonder? That's a little disconcerting. There's some similarities here, and I don't know necessarily what to make of it. I'll be furious if it's a random, pointless similarity like Nagito mm -hmm, again. Mm -hmm. You know, Nagito Komaeda. Like, Makoto Naegi Des. Oh, duh, but... Duh, yeah. Like, same voice and, like, a, the same face. Just mm -hmm. a completely different body, sure, but... Maybe maybe she's supposed to be the everything about me is the same as Junko, but there's no relationship. Bah. Don't worry. Not yet. We're just getting started. Hmm? He would know. Uh, of course. This will be a piece of cake. Just try it 500 more times. <sighs> Gonta gonna escape. Gonta get past that platform one day. Become friends with everyone. Gentlemen, never give up. Maybe I should reload and see if I can get Gonta past that gate. Gonta thinks that's a bad idea. <laughs> no, no. Billy thinks that's a bad idea. No, Gonta is speaking for Billy. Uh... This time! This time we'll reach the exit! Yep. <laughs> yeah, that's the way to look at it. See, I can't even get into the game because all I can think about... This time... Those words carried me as I stepped into the tunnel once again! <laughs> but... It was no good. Even so, we refused to surrender. We kept telling ourselves that this time we'll escape. But we failed each time. Yeah, I know. About 1,500 tries, you'll probably make it. With every attempt, we repeated the words this time, over and over again. See, that's that's your problem. Y you can't just assume that you're going to escape this time or next time, which is actually the same word in mm, Japanese. Mm, mm. You have to go forward knowing you're not going to succeed. You have to go forward not intending to fail, but intending to figure out how to make it yeah. one step further. As long as you learn from your losses, they're not really losses. Right. You know? You're just trying to perfect every single sequence and make it become muscle memory. If you assume you're going to succeed every time, then of course, after 50 tries or whatever, you'll have failed and you'll feel terrible. But if you were, weren't assuming that you were going to win for the first 1,200 of those 1,500 tries... Then you could keep your morale going. Right. After a certain point, you realize that every single run could be a success, but you have to put in so much work before you can get to that point. Mm hmm Lazy students, get off my lawn! But in the end, we couldn't do it. I thought we'd be able to escape as long as we never gave up. You just gotta keep trying for a week. They're, they're gonna feed you. But it made no difference in the end. <sighs> Failed again. Damn. Damn it! Seems like... I can't go on. 
That's wrong. Wait, we can't give up. This time we'll... See, that's the problem, is because she's saying they're going to do it this time, and they never had anybody realistic, and I'm not talking about defeatism. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, if you intend to get through something really hard, you have to approach it with the right mindset, and you have to convince everybody else to approach it with the right, with the right mindset either. I appreciate everything else she's done, but blind optimism only makes your situation worse, and I wish they'd stop doing it. That's really strongly affected me, because that's the mindset I had to have, all right? Well, you know, knock it off already. Ooh. Huh? I don't like that. You're free to keep trying on your own, Miss First Bomb Death. <laughs> Forcing us to join you is basically torture. Uh-huh. Yeah. Definitely torture. Gonta, be completely useless, contribute nothing, and die to that same bomb over and over. Gonta, do Gonta's best. Uh, torture? You know what really hurts? Being denied the right to give up in an impossible situation. Huh. I kind of want to disagree with that, but I kind of also get where he's coming from. I do get where he's coming from. As long as you have that desire to give up, you'll never succeed. Yeah. But you'll never succeed like that. Yeah, see, that's the thing. Like, he kind of does, but doesn't have a point. Yeah, yeah. Even what I was just saying is is that sort of zen, accept your failure. And I don't mean to say that I'm some perfect, wise guy who knows everything, but I did just clear that damn game That's in true. like 1,500 tries. That's true. And it never got old. Somebody please save me. It never got old. Do you understand? <laughs> Do you understand how badly I've been broken by having done that? So anyway, seeing these bunch of whiners complain <laughs> about it, they haven't done it nearly as much as me. <laughs> Oops. Ha 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 ha! See, I'm so skilled I skip the dialogue. You won't let us give up, and no matter what we say, you have the moral high ground. That... doesn't that sound like torture to you? He's not wrong. Yeah? Shit. When you say we can't give up, you're not inspiring us, you're strong-arming us! After a certain point, what he says, that's correct. After yeah. a certain point. Yeah. But I think we've reached that point, as you have said. Yeah, yeah, that's right, that's right. You have to process out these negative feelings. I mean, I understand that comparing their situation to having clear death road of despair is a little silly, which is really bizarre because they're actually talking about the death road of despair. <laughs> I realize it's not a one-to-one -one, like uh, analogy, uh, even though <laughs> it legitimately, realistically, literally is a one-to-one -one comparison. That's Danganronpa's inconsistency for you. Yeah, I guess so. That's actually quite fascinating. Anyway, look, I... I went through the time, the period of time, and so did everybody else who cleared this. I uh -huh. guarantee it. And I know some of you out there have cleared this, and you went through the same thing. You were cursing, getting mad, getting despondent, being like, there's nothing I can do. How are you supposed to learn how to do this? And at those times, y you do. You do have to stop. But then you come back once you've recovered. You know, you gotta find a reason to recover. I had mine. That's wrong. I, I didn't mean it like that. Hey, degenerate male! Hey, degenerate! Quit being so selfish! Please don't. I I'm not being selfish. The others feel the same way too. Huh? What? Just continuing... Everyone? If not everybody else has decided to go again and again and again and again and again, you can't make them do it. But, but nonetheless... That's the only way to get anywhere. I mean, Angie looks pretty uh, at peace with herself. Everyone else looks despondent. Uh, Angie, first off, I don't think she knows how to not be smiling. And second, she's in rapturous prayer. Prayer because she's so farking miserable. <laughs> I love Kibo's expression. Uh-huh. My spirit is nearly broken. This hardship gnaws at me. Which you would think I would be into, but... Given the circumstance, the most logical course of action would be to give up. Yeah, I feel like Hisashi Mitsui in the second half of a basketball game. <laughs> was that a slam dunk reference? The thing is, I I'm pretty sure that was Mitsui, but I don't remember his family name. The three-point shooter guy? Yeah, was wasn't that him? Yeah, well, if, it, if, it, if that was him, 
Mitsui would always score. I mean, he'd scored better than an NBA player, man. And, like, his three-point shots were amazing unless they were actually focusing on what was going on in the game right there in uh -huh. Slam Dunk, in which case he'd always blow the shots that mattered. I knew this wasn't possible from the start. This bullshit is a waste of my precious time and energy. You know, I'd probably have a completely different emotional response to this if I wouldn't have cleared it. But that's because it broke you. It broke you too, man. Uh, yes, but you suffered far more than I have, and so I just want to put the appreciation where it's due because you're the one who beat it, not me. You know what? I'll accept that. Like I said, it does kind of make our presentation here kind of lackluster because we don't share it. Uh, I can't let you all rely on my magic. Besides, I don't have enough MP left. No. Oh. I'm just relieved that no one was seriously injured. Praise be, Tua Tua. Do not talk to me about seriously injured. First bomb, every time. Technically, I guess wait. it's the fourth. <laughs> but please, wait. We, we no can give up. Hey guys. You guys, are you really okay with not getting out of this place? Well, you know. We shouldn't have to push ourselves. Let's just find another way out, okay? That's perfectly reasonable. Yeah. Look, when I said I did it, and again, I'm I'm only speaking like this because of my experience. There are many other valid experiences and valid ways of doing it. I just can only speak to the one that I had, okay? It did take me like, like a week and a half of, yeah. of doing it several hours a day on the days that I did it. Uh-huh. There's no reason to try and make everybody ram through it right away. Right. Huh? What? No way. Oh. You're talking about the killing game, aren't you? I take back my endorsement of what he said. Ah. Oh. So you're gonna interpret it like that? Huh? You gotta be kidding me! What are you saying? There's no way we can do the killing game! <laughs> <laughs> Calm down. Want some bubble gum? You can blow pretty big bubbles with it. Oh, is that what those little happy marks are that are like glowing neon? Like Tic Tacs or something? No, future bubble gum. Like future you, bubble gum. You blow a square bubble and they fly out. <laughs> oh, ho, ho. Oh, ho, ho. Looks like this little degenerate wants his head smashed into the ground. If I wanted my head smashed into the ground, I'd just go play Death Road again. <laughs> Wait. Stop, guys. We shouldn't be fighting. Jeez. <laughs> We fell apart pretty quick for a group that decided to be friends and work together. What was this, like two hours? We have no way of knowing. In the great span of time, it's hard to say. They didn't really decide to be friends and didn't really decide to work together. They decided to try doing those things uh -huh. and to step down and to take one step down that road. But that was just the first step. Uh, furthermore, wanting to take a break doesn't mean they're not still in favor of that step. Yeah, apparently they're not, but I'm just saying that wanting to take a break isn't the problem. Yeah. And, you know, honestly, especially after all the praise, I think the person that's wrong is Kaede. Yeah. Because what she could do is, in response to that, be like, you're right, I'm sorry. Yeah, if she admits to being that they have a point and being like, okay, let's take a break then. Let, let's all go rest. Let's see if, let's see what else we can find. Yeah. This may be the only thing, we, the only way we have to get out of here, but there's no reason to coat to throw it. There's no reason to go kill ourselves doing it right now. Right. And for acting like I strong armed you, I'm, I guess I'm too enthusiastic. And I mean, frankly, just like everybody else desperate to get out of here, I'm really sorry. Yeah. Please forgive me. But that doesn't mean that we can't all be friends and yeah. get out of this together. And you know what? That solved the problem. But then it wouldn't be much of a game. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. This is my fault. I'm so sorry. Uh, um... No, Kaede. Dumbass! Idiot! What are you apologizing for? It's not your fault at all! Hmm... Really? I think it is Kaede's fault. What? Huh? Why? I mean, no comment. We just talked about it. <laughs> and I mean, you, you can't just, like, fall apart with that miserable apology either. Do better, high school students! <laughs> 
Still, it's a different... This uh, is an announcement! It, still, this is a different way that uh, the game has started compared to the others. Yeah, so I approve. I do wish it were, it were with something less mm, abstractly hard to process mm -hmm. as Death Road. Mm -hmm. well, anyway. This is an official announcement from the Ultimate Academy for Gifted Juveniles. It is now nighttime. It is now 10 p.m. Nighttime officially starts now. It's Betty Bad Time! Whether you've been good or naughty, it's time to go tinkle and go to Betty Bye! Please be careful. The dining hall and gym are locked during nighttime, so be careful. See, you should have already gone to eat something. Now everybody has to starve. <laughs> Damn you, Kaede! Make her suffer! No. Maybe. That is a terribly tacky couch. <laughs> that color scheme. Oh my god, I didn't even look at it. Is that like a colorblind test or something? Cheddar cheese cola. Cheddar cheese cola. I'm gonna go throw up now. Bedtimer sign! <laughs> Sweet dreams! No ball, no ball. Sweet dreams! Sweet dreams. Oh, since, uh, no ball. Oh. Nighttime, huh? Well, no sense pushing our luck. We should probably just get a fresh start tomorrow. Huh? Fresh start? What? They're not all gonna be giving up, are they? What do you think? We've each been assigned a room in the dormitory. Perhaps we should rest there. <laughs> We're gonna rest there. The woman, who's, the woman who's like terrified of sleep. <laughs> the rooms aren't that bad. Much better than my prison cell. That's for sure. But, but it makes me nervous to think we'll be staying the night at this creepy school. Uh, but you are, and so is everybody else. <sighs> okay. Well, nothing we can do but suck it up. So, what's our plan for tomorrow? Yeah, huh. He kind of did turn around on a dime, didn't he? <laughs> well, it's hard to take anything he says as trustworthy because he's an admitted liar. Yeah, I found out that his, his Japanese voice actor is Yamaguchi Kappe, which is amazing. Oh, that's awesome. So, I mean, when Yamaguchi Kappe talks about being a liar and having 8,000 followers, <laughs> well... Yeah. God Usopp shall rise again. <laughs> Since a dining hall opens at 8 a.m., how about we meet there at that time? That's right. Sure, I think that'll work. I'm okay with that. It's decided. Can we go to our rooms already? Either way. Yes, we should get as much rest as we can and regain our strength. And honestly, get to know each other, go around the place together. Woo, free time events! <sighs> yeah, I don't know if I can go pee by myself in the middle of the night. I'll come. What the heck is that expression? I'll come with you if you don't mind. That is, just let me know. I know what you're thinking. Oh. Hey guys, just as a warning. How should I put this? We shouldn't let our guards down. We'll be easy targets at night. You mean? Cause of killing game? You mean? Please wait. I see no need to worry about something as illogical as murder taking place here. I know what you guys are trying to say, but you have to confront the possibility. The thing is, is the more you lie about it and put it away and deny it and don't consider something, the more likely it is that something is going to happen. Yeah. If you're actually open about everything, it will work. Is that hard? Yeah. <laughs> I know, I know. Just a warning. Whatever the state of his memory, and however much of it is his own anyway, uh, Rantaro is no fool. Yeah. <laughs> the positive people. Uh, minus Gonta, that is. Yeah. I mean... Hey, why did you apologize before? You didn't do anything wrong, you know? Um... Well, when we tried to escape, I felt like we were united behind a common goal. But after I put everyone's lives at risk, that unity is gone now. 
Well, it's not like that either. There's literally no way you can spend a lot of time doing something like that without a whole lot of negative mm -hmm. emotion being blown out. And yeah. the, the trick is to just not be overcome by it and swallowed up by it. I, I mean, I'm not trying to sound cheesy, but what's always allowed the students to win is like a sense of purpose. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm and strength you know even yasuhiro at the end of one was like i want to live yeah yeah seriously come on shut up that's just a stupid end result it's not like you wanted it to go that way listen up don't apologize for something that's not your fault it'll just make you feel bad kind of wise maybe I, not always accurate I, I got my moments you know Everyone just decided to blame you and give up. I'm gonna give them a piece of my mind later. <sighs> well, anyway, let's just go to sleep for now. See you tomorrow. Thank you, Kaito. You're still not getting that hug. <laughs> uh, um... Kaede, I don't think you need to worry about what Kokichi said. You weren't pressuring us. At least I don't think so. Uh, yeah, thanks, Shuichi. The problem is, everybody on the face of the planet, apparently except for me and Billy, <laughs> are extremely vulnerable to bandwagoning. Mm -hmm. And so when everybody else in a social situation sees that one person is going to get trashed by it, it's like everyone suddenly turning on them and blaming them, mm -hmm. it's easier for everybody else to do it too. And he is the ultimate supreme leader, after all. For what that's worth, there may be something to it. Um, I don't know. Whenever I see anything remotely resembling bandwagoning, all of my alert sensors go up. <laughs> and I just, I cannot, I cannot take it. I cannot take it. I cannot take it at all. In return, I basically can never really be accepted anywhere and can never be part of any group. But, you know, at least I'm not vulnerable to bandwagoning. <laughs> <sighs> but I'm exhausted. Let's just go back to our rooms and rest. You're right. Right. Well, see you tomorrow. Uh, oh no, she's by herself. We're doomed. Oh, uh, uh, well, might as well get this over with. Man, and with a combination of hitting the same beats and gots to hit the different beats at the same time as hitting the same beats, I am really concerned that somebody ain't gonna be waking up tomorrow. Darkness time. This is a good piece. What's the matter? What's wrong, Gonta? You're not going back to the dorms? Um... Gonta worry about manhole. Think it okay with cover gone? I doubt anyone's just gonna accidentally fall in, unless they're sleepwalking, maybe. Hmm. That cover is certainly enough to be used as a weapon, but... By whom? What if someone fall in? Get hurt real bad. Cause going to gentlemen. Going to gentlemen. Gentlemen no can ignore that. But Kirumi tell going to leave cover off. He's the only person who can move it. Yeah, oh. That also means that uh, if he gets, if he bites it, how are they going to be able to get out the exit? Well, there is that. Hmm. Don't to not know what to do. Um. Everyone knows it's here, so I'm sure we'll all be careful. Don't worry about it. You're right. Okay, you're right. Maybe go to just keep eye on it. It's an interesting thing to be concerned about, but go right ahead. Thank you, Kaede. Go to go back to room now. Good night. Yeah. Yep. Hmm. Good night. I wonder if we're going to be going to everybody. And doing a kind of good night? Yeah. Isn't that kind of worse? Yeah, I don't... I, she ain't waking up, man. Going to may look scary, but he's actually a very kind, innocent soul. Uh, I don't like this. And I mean, they're flashing so many flags. On the one hand, it'll be shocking if it... Doesn't. But on the other hand like maybe building up a humongous amount of expectations for this sort of thing and then actually having it happen that maybe that's actually what they're going to do 
I can see that. It's different. Yeah, I can see that. And this music, you know? What a weird monument. Why is this here? It's got music notes on it. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. Uh, maybe we'll use it to call forth your memory, Kaede. <laughs> yeah, this music is really effing foreboding. Yeah, I think it's actually one of the best pieces of music in the game series so far. <laughs> uh, for one, because it's so different. Mm -hmm. Seems like... <sighs> Seeing it like this, the school really is eerie. It's an interesting place in the day, but having to stay the night is too much. Aw, oh, are you afraid of the dark? I'm not really making fun of her at all so far. So far, uh, Tsumigi's one of my favorite characters in this. A as is Himiko. Yeah, I yeah. can't believe I like her as much as I do. Right? With my magic. If you really can't fall asleep, I'll put you to sleep with a magic hammer. Maybe in the context of a killing game, <laughs> you shouldn't be saying that. Rest in peace. That would be an eternal sleep. As I said. I don't have the MP to go through with it anyway. Are you feeling all right? Is something the matter? Please rest and try to regain as much strength as you can. I could make you some lovely chamomile tea. Would you really? You know, one time I, I drank some chamomile tea and had a horrible allergic reaction to it and I didn't go into anaphylactic shock, but like the, the reaction was so strong it like closed my throat almost all the way and I had to take a bunch of short, shallow breaths through my nose and I just like pounded down antihistamines and then I didn't drink chamomile tea again for like five years. Why did you say that with such a happy expression on your face? Because a couple weeks ago I found out I can drink it again without dying. A happy ending for everyone, folks. Escaping this place will prove to be quite difficult. Best not to fret over it. You know, you're right. I was really careful when I recounted that near-death experience. Yeah, was a little creepy. <laughs> huh. Well, hey, look on the bright side. We're not saying goodnight to every single person, so that's one death flag that isn't waving. I'm running around. I get the points. <laughs> get your XP. Dormitos. Dormitos. Much better than lays in bed. <laughs> that was literally for you, Billy. I appreciated that. I'm trying to think of a way to turn Pringles into a sleep pun, but I'm coming up short. Ditto with crisps. Hey, Shuichi. <laughs> hey. Midnight rendezvous with. Hold on, how'd the first game start again? <laughs> Is that right? 11037. Oh, wow, that's a pretty swanky pad. So this is my room. Well, it's not too shabby. That's putting it lightly. What is that on the table? A is candelabra? It... Are you going to stab somebody with it? Maybe so. All right, well, even if you don't, you could probably bludgeon someone with it. Got a TV, too. Wonder if it's streaming anything. Probably nothing worth watching. The... Huh? A key? Is it the key to this room? So there's keys, and it's not done with the monopads. Did two have keys? I don't remember. I don't think so. I know that one did. Of course, it's a detail that largely doesn't matter. Yeah. Oh, no! God. Bingo! Get out! Out! You got it right! Nice work! Excuse me. Take your time. That is, in fact, the key to this room. You probably don't have anything worth stealing in here, but you should still lock your door when you leave. Hell yeah! All right, now it's time for me to give you a special hint. Does it have anything to do with rock hard razors? Please, no. If you steal someone else's key, you can sneak into their room and kill them easily. 
That's wrong. Shut up! I don't want to hear that. Really, if some of, if one of the five of them is going to come into this room and give this type of hint, can it be anybody other than him? Yeah. <laughs> I just got chewed out. Go away. I'm weak against criticism. Jeez, this place is the worst. I just want to go home. This music, man. Right? Take that trash can! And desk with a phone on it! Might need these. Kaede Angie! What's, what's over here? I can't even break it! But hey, look, there's a vase, a potted plant. Oh, there's uh, lots of plants on the shelves over there. A giant cricket. <laughs> giant cricket, where? <laughs> huh? Is this a closet? I guess I'll take a look inside just to be safe. Very important. Huh? What is this? Inside, there were uniforms that matched the one I was wearing. Lots of uniforms. Oh, yeah? All exactly the same. Did they prepare all these? It's probably just so their occupants can have a change of clothes. But don't change their actual appearance. They prepared yeah. everything just to keep us trapped here. But why? No idea. No yeah. idea why, why whoever is doing it is doing it. I doubt it's the same goal. It can't be. Oh. And that would be the bathroom that we can't interact with. I'm suspicious that we can't look behind us. If that's the door in, what's on the other side of the room? Yeah, I was thinking that too. Well. <sighs> I, and I have never stressed this enough more in my life, am tired. As soon as my body hit the bed, my body immediately froze. After everything that had happened, I forgot just how physically and mentally exhausted I was. I think I'm hyperventilating now. <laughs> I thought we would achieve our goal as long as we didn't give up. You little girl! Do you have no sense of time at all? Not after that run. You have to expend time to achieve your goal as long as you don't give up. But I'm a high school teenager! I want it now! That had always been my mentality whenever I practiced the piano. But... Maybe playing piano is easier than escaping from a killing game on the moon in a giant cage with robot bears and mobile weapons platforms and, oh God. Maybe it is. Maybe it is. That old saying, the if all you have is a hammer, then every problem looks like a nail, mm -hmm. that's usually deployed to criticize the inflexibility of trying to solve every problem by hitting it with, with a hammer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's a fine way to take that saying. However, there is the other way of looking at it. If all you have to solve problems with is a hammer, then you might become proficient <laughs> at solving problems with a hammer. Yeah, yeah. That, that doesn't mean that you necessarily solve them all in the same way, yeah. but you use the tool that you actually possess in a different manner to solve a, a variety of different problems. You know, if I'm, say, good at video games, I apply the same type of mentality... To other problems. I mean... I do that. It yeah. works. At work, uh, I work in retail, we had a problem with, like, the cash machine, like the machine that dispenses money, and so we opened it up. And I had never seen the inside of this thing before whatsoever. I looked at it, and I was like, hmm, okay... I started like flipping levers and poking at it and like switching this Stop. and that and the, the Damon puzzle solving strategy. And then after like a minute of fiddling with it, I figured out what the problem was. And the manager who was there with me, who'd been with the company for 10 years, had to look in a manual. 
And I was just like basic problem solving. What this do, what this do, what that do. Understood, the problem is here. And that was video game logic applied to a real world situation on something I had no experience at. Felt pretty smug. You know, she should really know this about piano because she had to do it from the time she was a toddler. Kaede, you should be perfect, like me, the most humble man in the world. Uh-huh. But maybe playing piano is easier because I'm blessed with that talent. With Chopin's prelude playing in my head, I fell into a deep sleep. Well, Kaede, I hope you wake up. Me too. Oh, yes! Ooh, ooh, I approve! New students of the Ultimate Academy! Congratulations! What is that on the ground back there? Oh, that's just one of my projects. Haven't you ever seen Texas Chainsaw Massacre? I'm Monoface! The weeds here have grown thick with joy as if celebrating your entrance into the school. Seeing your anxious eyes shine with murderous intent makes me oh so happy. And this is why you should never stop at strange gas stations in the middle of nowhere <laughs> and never pick up hitchhikers. If you ever feel lost, don't be shy. Talk to your friends or a teacher. Let's all get along. Don't buy the barbecue. And let's do lots of killing too. I pray for the physical and mental well-being of this new killing school semester. I mean, I pray for the well-being of you students. Yeah, that'll do. <laughs> Rise and shine, or sign. Wait, you mean she's alive? Maybe, let's not get ahead of ourselves. We don't know whose perspective we're at yet. We could be at Shuichi's perspective. This is an announcement. Or however one interprets that strange automatopoeia <laughs> sound effect. This is an official announcement from the Ultimate Academy. It's 8 a.m. It's 8 a.m., bitches! Time to wake up and face the blood-drenched day. So... I wonder who's dead this morning. Stop it! Stop! If I suddenly see a dead body, I'll puke again! What made you puke last time? I don't want to talk about it. Have fun! Enjoy your killing school semester! Okay, we're still kind of... <laughs> Phew. It was all some terrible dream. Did you say, phew? Wouldn't that be nice? Stop criticizing my over-dramatization. Wait, I don't have time to joke around. I said I'd meet the others in the dining hall. Everyone must be waiting. I need to get to the dining hall ASAP. ASAP! Don't take any side tours for XP! Side trips, detours, I said two things mixed together. I, I'm okay. ASAP, you bap? No. Go!